Queensland coast lie beautiful and exciting marine habitats. This is the home of a magnificent creature, the grey nurse shark. Traditionally, it has stirred both fear and fascination in humans. More often than not, fear has prevailed. Like many species of shark, the grey nurse shark has been falsely accused as a predator of humans and has been hunted systematically, close to the brink of extinction. Today we are becoming increasingly aware of the shark's vital role in the natural ecosystem. The grey nurse shark is at home in subtropical and temperate waters. It remains plentiful in other parts of the world, but here on Australia's eastern seaboard, this beautiful creature is now critically endangered, with numbers reduced to as few as 300. Although concerned government agencies have been monitoring these populations in New South Wales and Queensland, little is known of the habitat where the grey nurse shark lives and their requirements for survival. Conservation measures are being considered to protect grey nurse sharks, especially in the rocky reef areas where they congregate. The grey nurse shark is often sighted around the rocky reefs of Moreton Bay Marine Parks at underwater formations with eerie names like Gotham City, China Wall and Cherub's Cave. They are also found at Wolf Rock north of Brisbane, near Fraser Island. All these habitats are critical for the shark survival in southeast Queensland. The University of Queensland's dive club, UniDive, gained funding from the Threatened Species Network, a part of the World Wildlife Fund for Nature. This funding was to map the sites in southeast Queensland where the grey nurse sharks are known to live and to identify the marine organisms living in these areas. This work will provide baseline information essential for management of the grey nurse shark and their habitats. Five of the sites surveyed are within the Moreton Bay Marine Park and Wolf Rock is within the proposed Great Sandy Marine Park. Volunteers of UniDive dedicated their evenings and weekends to train and learn the skills necessary to carry out the project. These training sessions were taken by researchers from the University of Queensland and the Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service. After training, UniDive volunteers surveyed the underwater habitats by scuba diving and then maps and a report for each area were produced. The grey nurse shark habitats in southeast Queensland lie at the junction between tropical and temperate environments and support an amazing range and diversity of marine life. The diversity of underwater life found at these unique locations is astonishing considering they are so close to the major urban influence of Brisbane, a city of around 2 million people. There are plants such as kelp forests, invertebrates such as plate corals, black corals, slipper lobster and nudibranchs. There are colourful reef fish and schooling pelagic fish, leopard sharks, manta rays, marine turtles, humpback whales and dolphins. These species are all important components of the marine ecosystem. In 2003, the UniDive team spent over 10,000 hours on the project during long evenings and overnight diving trips. Each trip was an intensive two days of diving, identifying, counting and processing data. The entire project involved over 600 dives and more than 75 volunteers. To characterise each site, a geo-referenced map was created and fish, invertebrates and plants were identified and counted. Underwater features were identified and mapped with the depths. Each site was surveyed from a boat and also by scuba divers using a depth sounder and a global positioning system. 
A floating GPS was towed by scuba divers to determine the position of features such as gutters, overhangs and caves. From this information, maps were created by well-trained volunteers using specialised computer software. Other divers took notes, video footage and photographs which were later used with reference books to identify the marine species. Fish were counted during surveys of five minutes and invertebrates and plants were counted using quadrats. These surveys were carried out at 15 and 25 metres depth. After all the surveys were completed, maps were created for each site and the information collected and analysed. These maps and other information on marine species were compiled into a report. Video and photo libraries of all the species were created and the data for one site, Wolf Rock, was converted into a virtual dive site. Every Grainer shark sighting is reported to Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service, including location, size, gender, tag number and colour, and any other unusual scars or markings. Now divers can use the UniDive maps to pinpoint sightings to specific grid coordinates. The Grey Nurse Shark sticker helps volunteers to determine the gender and other features of the shark. The information and maps from this project can also be used by dive operators to navigate these sites. And the Queensland Government will be able to compile more specific data on the locations of the Grey Nurse. It is clear that these unique and exciting sites are needed by the Grey Nurse Shark to sustain its population into the future. Once feared, now they are better understood and a source of great fascination. The results of the Unidive project and new conservation measures will give the Grey Nurse Shark a real chance of survival.